Some of the presumed front runners for the next Supreme Court justice are already coming under fire. Meanwhile, the White House says President Obama will not announce his nomination this week. With us now is University of Maryland law professor Michael Greenberger. He is also a former Justice Department official. Professor, good to see you good here. Morning. Senator Orrin Hatch thought the president could release a name as early as this week. He had been on the phone with him earlier in the past week. You've got to imagine, though, that the Obama administration has names ready to put out there. Yes, the reports are that this is something they had thought about even during the campaign. And also, the uh, retirement of Justice Souter was sort of an open secret in Washington. It was talked about a great deal. Uh, finally, uh, I think not since President Taft, who later became Chief jo Just Justice of the Supreme Court, is there any presser? Uh, President Obama was a constitutional law professor at the University of Chicago and a s distinguished law student at Harvard in his own right. I think there's nobody who's probably given this more thought or has more instincts about what to do. But he probably realizes that there will be controversy no matter who he names. Give us an idea of some of the names that are being floated out there. Well, the, the, the most prominent name that has come up is uh, Judge Sotomayor, who's uh, a judge on the United States Court of Appeals for the one step below the Supreme Court. That's where most nominees, if not all, in the last uh, decade have come from, the circuit court level. Uh, she's an Hispanic woman, uh, went to Yale Law School, is very, very smart. From people who went to the Supreme Court, he did. a lot of people are looking at governors as possible. Uh, who, would, who would be well, a, Jennifer, a choice? Well, Jennifer Granholm of Michigan. That she wasn't an American born Supreme Court. It would matter for her running for president. The governor of Massachusetts is a very, it was in Fortune 500 companies, and that's going to be serious consideration given to somebody. Who the president did say he wanted a justice who isn't about some abstract legal theory, but someone who knows how laws affect the daily realities of people's lives. Yes. Now, that doesn't necessarily rule out somebody who's a sitting exactly. judge. But I think, again, I would look at the Roosevelt experience. Mm -hmm. uh, the governor of Michigan picked there, the sitting senator. To be the Arlen Specter, now a Democrat, and now stripped of his seniority, he was on the uh, Judiciary Committee. Well, I think it's likely to make president because I would suspect that Specter will fall in line. It does elevate. But he did vote against his solicitor general, Elena uh, Kagan. Well, right? I think there was reasons for that. Elena right. Kagan had never argued a case in the court, mm -hmm. and she was given the most important court position in the United States government. And he was a Republican then. I do think his switch will have consequences. Professor, thank you for being here with us.